Today came to be when we learned the marathon may get um, delayed or postponed. We kind of adopted the rally mission first, which is raising funds for Dana Farber, the nurses, the doctors, and the patients there. About a week ago, I started seeing the memories pop up from the marathon, and it just felt like it was something that I needed to do. I've run the last eight Boston marathons for Dana Farber, and as it got closer to this weekend, you know, I knew that I couldn't run the marathon in one day because I'd really stopped my training. And I said, you know what, I think I can get it done. Sunday afternoon, I can run one half, and then less than 24 hours later, I can complete my second. I started, um, actually right back behind here was my first half marathon, which I ran for my dad back in 2011. When he was diagnosed with leukemia a few years after losing my mom to lung cancer, I left Boston, moved back home, and picked up running with a little bit of spare time. Team crew to the house, yeah, Dana Farber! So I did, I was gonna run one marathon. It was kind of a surprise for my dad. I only told him two and a half months before the race. He was down there, he met me at mile 25, which is really special for the Dana-Farber team. It's kind of the mile we take over for our patients. Um, and at that time he was doing great. He beat his leukemia, he had a stem cell transplant, and he relapsed about three months later and lost his battle. So every year since then, um, I've walked in the fall with uh, about 100 friends and family under the banner Team Crew and um, I've run every Patriots day since then. That's laces. So I'm pretty excited. The last mile is always so emotional, and I'm sure it will be today, even uh, without the crowds of Boylston Street. Woo! <sighs> oh yeah. There we that go. That was a big last mile. Embrace what you can during these times. You know, run, run smart, be safe, but you know, keep to those things that, that keep you going and keep moving you forward. Thank you, dear. You did it.